the more in-depth study of these programs because we all agree that growth and change cannot happen in just one day. So if you want your team to really grow, you're going to have to embark on a process and in the end we'll offer you an opportunity to actually sign up for your, for your managers, for your senior managers, for your middle managers, um, anyone in the organization that you see that you know you want them to actually grow in the leadership um, uh, in their leadership experience. Greatest achievements is is when we started a program called Youth Connect. So when we started Youth Connect, we always told ourselves that you know these young people they 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 have the potential. So one of the biggest problems we have in this country is uh, is unemployment. Uh, but we know that the, the the ingredients or the sort of the building blocks to resolve that problems are here. It's all about the right of economic opportunity, it's all about the right skills, it's all about the, the right mindset, and at some point it's also about whether you have Ijishoro or not. Ijishoro means uh, the starting capital. So for me, whenever I realized that one person's life was touched, mm -hmm. and I just had a finger or something or say, in, uh, or role to play in that, I feel completely and extremely blessed. For me, values come before goals. If I don't share the same values as you, and we can see that those values are conflicting, then rather than exposing the company to such a clash, I'll rather let you go, even though I know this is going to impact the, the financial profitability of the company. I'll rather let you go. With your faith, you need to keep your vision. Second, I learned to really try to choose people with that vision. You'll be working in a mass, but still few people is, would have a doubt. So it's better to have people who will face the reality and who will say, let's keep going. As I said, it's not the red carpet every day. So we need to face the challenge. You see, the thing with startups is that you almost work overtime. You work too much, you have to give too much, and to be able to do that, you need a team that's at 100. You need a team that can trust you. If you can have this good lie that you give to a potential partner, why do I not believe that you could also give me a good lie that is good for you and not good for me? If you know that life always gives you a second chance, even where things haven't gone well in the past, whether you think you've lost confidence in a person, confidence in your staff, confidence in your friend, confidence in, as long as you make a conscious effort to tap into this second chance that life gives you and you try again, and then you make that consistent over time, I believe you can change um, the picture. Yeah.